This summer, I interned for the Sobriety Marathon program to help people of Taitung County, Taiwan, quit drinking. My job was to identify successful program elements to help plan next year's marathon. When it started, I just wanted to get in and get out. It was just an internship. I grew up in Taipei, the capital city. I knew nothing about Taitung besides what the travel show hosts told us, an enchanted land where friendly indigenous people lived idyllic lives. I wasn't prepared for what I saw. About halfway through the summer, I interviewed a young indigenous lady for feedback. I noticed what seemed like really dry skin on the inside of her left wrist, covering about three inches up her forearm from the base of her palm. I did a double take. The scratches were actually densely packed horizontal scars. After that, I started noticing those scars everywhere. The clerks at the breakfast joint, the street vendors close to where I live. I didn't know much about suicide. In Taipei, life's fast and expectations are high. People regularly kill themselves because of the crushing pressure. I'm numbed by this kind of news. But meeting a suicide survivor left me confused and shocked. Now, I felt strangely invigorated. What happened to that lady was awful, but I felt a renewed sense of purpose. I wasn't just helping out with the program. I could also be saving lives. We were seeing results in the community. The irony is that summer is peak tourism season, the hot air balloon season, and the indigenous people's harvest festival puts up a big show for visitors. But beneath the bright propane flames and festive traditional clothing, Taitung County still secretly aches. The sobriety marathon is an appropriate name for the drawn out battle with alcoholism. I probably couldn't contribute much in my short tenure, but I hope I have helped at least a little in relighting the ancient spirits of Taitung's people so they're ready to take flight again. <laughs> <laughs>